Before the Transalp and the Africa Twin, there was the XLV 750R Honda's first attempt at a touring bike that could get a little dirty Honda XLV 750R. The first Honda dual sport motorcycle with two non-parallel cylinders that released in early 80s. It is the first models that could be labeled as Maxi Enduro to appear on the market. It was a sumptuous 750cc V-twin, very well finished and aesthetically of great impact, but in truth with limited off-road qualities, both in terms of weight and by the Cardan shaft final transmission, probably adopted to compete the BMW GS80. Honda originally planned to sell this bike only in Europe, but they eventually offered it to Australia and New Zealand. 500 of the first bikes were also put away for the Japanese market, and Honda called this group the Limited Edition. The Limited Edition bikes got ventilated front brake discs, a blue seat strap, and a plaque on the frame. Otherwise, they were the same as the stock bikes. The XLV 750R remains a fascinating piece of motorcycling history. A blend of practical engineering and unexpected adventures on the track. Based on Oberden Bezzi's design, Honda can propose a concept for upcoming lineup in 2025 that will feature a motorbike that truly depicts the toughness of off-road motorbikes of the past, where this motorbike can be used as an alternative choice for the latest Transalp motorbikes. This motorbike's called the new Honda XLT 750R. The XLT 750R would adopt the stylistic features of the typically 80s ancestor, integrated with sophisticated current technology with excellent quality components. Powered by the same engine as Honda Transout 750, which had 755cc parallel twin engine, plus it's fast revving and it has a lot of top-end power. Equipped with a 21-inch front and 18-inch rear wheel, and off course with low weight that given high performance and but still fun and easy to ride. Overall, this motorcycle has an image and substance for those who want to stand out with this look form Honda in 80s. So guys, are you ready to see this on or off the road?